In this video, I'm going to discuss with you what my thoughts are about the housing market crashing or not. Now, it's always a question of supply and demand, and we have very, very low inventory all around the country. But before I get into that, do me a favor and go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that subscribe button and let the algorithm know that our content is worthy of your viewership. So going back to supply and demand, we've had some of the lowest supply we've ever seen in the housing market. And there's a lot of populations shifting all over the place. If you look at metropolitan cities around the country, your Los Angeles, your New York, um, your San Francisco, your Austin, a lot of populations are going from very expensive locations to less expensive and actually demographically changing entire neighborhoods pretty quickly because there is a huge housing shortage. And neighborhoods that were once lower priced, the prices are astronomical now. Basic thing of supply and demand. Now, what's my expertise in this area? Well, I became a multimillionaire in my early 20s and the vessel or the modality or the way I became a millionaire is focusing all of my energy in real estate. Today, my companies sell billions of dollars worth of real estate products and real estate services. I have multiple companies in real estate, so I know this material very well. One of the primary factors, inflation's pushing all type of costs up, and now you've got this war raging. It could and has the potential to be World War III. Every country is jumping into it. It's either one side or another. It's NATO and all the Western allies, or it's some other Middle Eastern countries, China, Russia, on one side. We're, we're kind of caught up with what's going on in the world right now. And because of those things, there's going to be shortages in oil and gasoline and all of the prices that inflation that we're already seeing is going to continue to rise, not get better. Magically, Russia's oil supply goes out. Do you think that that's going to raise the price of transportation and goods? Absolutely. So as long as we have an interest rate that's low, I think we're invariably going to still have housing shortage. Now, if the interest rate were to climb up, that's when you're going to see inventory starting to stack. And with more supply, you're going to get less demand. And because there's less demand, that supply is going to continue to go up. It's really basic. And so when you have more than the market could bear, prices will start to correct itself and go downward. Now, this particular market, I was around in 2008. And obviously, as you can see from my gray hair, I've been around a lot longer than 2008. But I was able to see what occurred in the housing market before. And I know that everything is cyclical. The real estate market, the stock market, and every market is fueled by the dynamics of human behavior. Human beings, when they're scared, react a different way from human beings that are happy or human beings that are excited about business or economy. And what we're seeing right now is a lot of uncertainty in the marketplace. And one of the signs is you see the stock market going up and down and cryptocurrency going up and down and all of these things. No one's for certain what's going to happen. We all know there's going to be an effect in the marketplace. Now, when 2008 and that crash happened, it took us seven or eight years to come back. And we've been on the upward trend for nearly 14 years where, where rising housing costs kept going up higher and higher. Because every market is cyclical, you have to understand that what goes up has to come down. And because of those things, coupled with the war, the pandemic, and, and inflation, I think that we are going to see a market correction in the housing market, at least within 12 months to 24 months. And when it starts to move downward, don't panic. If you bought a house, or an investment property during that time, your strategy should be buy and hold. If you start to panic, like I did back in 2008 and 9, and sell while it's going on the decline, you can lose a lot of money. So if your strategy is to buy and hold for five to seven years, you're going to be perfectly fine. Now, if you're a speculator or a flipper or you just buy properties and turn them every couple of years, that might be a little bit of a problem. So if you're in the long game in real estate, you're going to be just fine. And then when the market goes back up, if you can afford to sell then, if you want to liquidate, if you want to move into you know, higher properties or more units, you could do so. But right now, as the market starts to address and correct itself, I would hold on fast if that's a strategy you can use, buy and hold. If you want more information about inflation and its effects on the housing market, go ahead and hit this video next.